bag that I just got in the mail from Airy, which is American Eagle's activewear swimwear line. I'm so excited to open this up. I originally was not planning on filming this video today, but it just came in the mail. I have a couple hours before work and I'm just too dang excited to try this stuff on. When I do these videos, I love just keeping them in their packaging until I film so that you guys can get a first review and a first reaction, my full honest opinion on the items. I have done an Airy haul in the past, like over a year ago. It was not the best quality or the best video. That was like back when I first started doing YouTube. I ordered all kinds of things. We've got a couple of little matching sets we've got some bright summer colors which i'm starting to get into i used to be a very neutral kind of gal and i'm starting to get into these bright colors i even ordered a bikini because i feel like aries is very known for their swimwear so i thought i'd throw that in there but most of it's active wear and what I'm most excited about is I ordered their exercise dress. I really love the one from Amazon, but I thought I would give this one a try. Let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe for more activewear hauls. I'm gonna do a lot of them this summer. I love to keep them kind of at all different price ranges. I'm in love with Lululemon, but I also love finding trendy, affordable activewear pieces as well. So if you guys wanna see more of these, make sure you comment below which one you wanna see next. I'm trying to decide which one I wanna do first. I think we're gonna start with the blue. Got a blue bra. So we're gonna open this one up. Harry has so many different beautiful colors. I tried to go for matching sets. I got this little sports bra. It's got a ruching in the front, a little cross back right here. The material feels really soft, um, almost kind of like an aligned material in a way where it's very brushed and soft feeling. The band on here seems like it's also going to be super soft. Same with the straps. So I'm excited. I feel like this one's not gonna be a super high support one, but it'll be very comfy and good for those walks. So with that one, I'm gonna try on a tennis skirt. I thought it would be so fun. Everybody's wearing these this year. I think they're so cute. I'm worried about the waistband. I'm hoping it stays up, but it's that same brush material on the waistband. And then there's built-in shorts underneath. This is such a pretty color. Let's give these a try. This is actually so cute. This little skirt has really taken me by surprise. I love it so much. I love this color. Sports bra feels really good. This is adorable. This skirt, I feel like the one thing that I would really love if it had is sometimes biker shorts have like that rubber band along the bottom just to keep the shorts in place. The shorts underneath are probably like two inches long and they do show on the sides, but I kind of like that. I like this little line here on the side, how it goes up. It looks super flattering and I feel like it makes your legs look longer. I don't see an issue with the waistband like falling down or anything. My only concern would be is if the shorts rode up, which I feel like there's pretty good coverage in the front though. I was honestly not expecting to like this as much as I do because of the pleats. There's three different materials on the skirt. The waistband has more of that like brush material similar to their leggings. And then the skirt is more of a lightweight, airy, not like a windbreaker. Shorts are more of like a spandex, tighter feel, not super compression-y, but definitely feel like they will stay in place a little bit, just judging by like me walking around, they're actually holding in pretty well underneath. There's not really any compression in this waistband at all, but I feel like it's still super flattering the way that the skirt hits. I am 5'7". I feel like the skirt is maybe a, like a little bit on the short side, but it really doesn't bother me because of having the shorts. This is adorable. This is dangerous. <laughs> This bra also feels actually more supported than I thought it was going to be. It's very soft and comfortable. The straps are really good. And there are removable cup pads in it as well. They aren't adjustable straps, but I feel like they really hold me up really well. I love the ruche detailing. This whole thing is just so flattering and I'm obsessed. I got both of these in a size medium. So very true to size. Off to a good start. Did not expect to like it as much as I did. We're gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna try their yoga pants. Actually called flared leggings now, I guess. I used to have the Victoria's Secret pink yoga pants. So I think it's funny that these are back in and I feel a little bit weird ordering a pair of these. 
this is what they look like. These are the super flare. The waistband on this is very interesting. It's this, um, I don't know how to describe this material, like a super stretchy, man, I don't know what the name of that would be. I feel like weirdly this would be comfy and stay up very well because of the way it is that texture um a lot of times you'll see this like on the back of certain shirts or dresses i don't really know how to describe this fabric but i've never seen it on pants before so anxious to try this out these are high rise i got them in a size medium also actual yoga pant part is very much of like a brush material not the softest fabric i've ever felt but it's very similar to their leggings we'll have to see so let's go try these on i have not put on a pair of yoga pants in so long and when they say super flare these are definitely super flared out i feel like when i had yoga pants before they weren't like super tight and then flared out a lot it was kind of like they started at the knee but i feel like these are a little bit tight around like pat a little bit past the knee and then they flare out which i feel like is more flattering because it actually gives my legs some shape i'm actually not bad i actually really like these the waistband on these pants are definitely super stretchy they have quite a bit of compression i feel like they hide anything that's going on right here because of this like texture on it it's definitely high rise it goes way above my belly button and it's super comfortable i feel like they would stay up i feel like i'm gonna have way better luck with these staying up rather than the leggings they are pretty long i do have to say i again am five seven and they're almost touching the floor. I could even dress these up and wear them with sneakers and like a cute top and just like feel like this is a cute outfit. Like what in the world? Again, another item I did not expect to love. The fabric doesn't have like a whole lot of compression, but it's not bad either. Like I feel like it has more compression than the Align leggings do from Lululemon. They're just way more flattering than I thought they were gonna be. These are so cute. Okay, I just took a small break because I had to share these yoga pants on Instagram because I'm just so shocked. And I feel like I had to share on there because they're currently doing a sale, which they always do sales, it seems like. So never buy anything on Aerie that's full price because they. it seems like they're always having some sort of sale. Next, we're gonna do some fun bright green. I'm very excited. I'm loving green recently. So I got a little top. This one worries me because it does not have any cup pads in it and the straps are super thin. So right off the bat, I'm a little bit nervous to try this one on, but it does have a little shelf bra, but that's about it. So here's what the back looks like. Just a little razor back. I do have to say this fabric is very soft. I feel like it is going to have quite a bit of compression, but it's still very stretchy. So we'll see how that one does. And then I got these shorts to match it. These are the main reason why I ordered this color was because I really wanted to try these shorts. It says offline by Aerie. And I feel like some people though won't want that right on the front. I don't know. I feel like I would get sick of having that there, but we'll see how it looks on. The fabric is very soft actually for running shorts. And then it's got spandex shorts underneath that are super thick feeling. The waistband seems nice and thick. I don't know what rise this is. I kind of hope they're high rise. They look super short. The inseam looks like it's about two inches, which I really like to have a longer inseam. Like, I mean, it does have spandex, so that probably helps but a lot of times I like to have a little bit longer shorts. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna try these on. I get nervous about trying on running shorts because I just have a hard time with them. This one, I am not sure about. I feel like this one might be a no for me because the shorts, the length on them is just kind of weird. Sorry, that's an airplane. The plane is pretty much gone. These shorts are a little bit awkward, the way that they ride up like this. They just kind of like gather right there. I want these to be a little bit more flowy. And again, personally, I just would want them to be longer. I really like where the waistband hits and it's surprisingly pretty soft feeling. It hits right at my belly button. The spandex is not the best, I feel like during a workout, definitely ride up a bit. These shorts are thicker and definitely more of like a cotton material as opposed to the tennis skirt. That one I feel like had better fabric on the shorts underneath. Not super impressed with these shorts. I think that'll be a no for me. And this tank top also, if you're looking for something that has lots of support for running, this is definitely not the tank top for that, but 
It is very soft and I could definitely see myself wearing this to just like hang around the house in because it's very lightweight and it's just like I don't always feel like wearing a bra around the house because that's just not comfortable. This would be a really good option but I also have like a lot of tank tops that I've gotten off of Amazon that I really like. They're a little bit more supportive so it's all in really what you want. This one has no cup pads and the ones that I love on Amazon do have cup pads and if you're okay with it not having cup pads then I say go for this one because this one is also very cute. I actually do really like these spaghetti straps because they just make it feel more like you're not wearing a tank top. It just feels very lightweight that way. So I'll show you guys what the back looks like. Just the little thin racer back and that's about it. I feel like I'm not in love with this outfit, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some. So I love the color. Tank top's okay. I'm probably gonna return the shorts and we're gonna move on to the next items. I forgot to mention that these two items are also in a medium. Everything from this haul is actually in a size medium. I feel like it still feels fairly true to size. Sometimes I size up in running shorts and these, I feel like they still fit me the way they're supposed to. So just a little heads up. Here is the exercise dress. The straps are similar to the Outdoor Voices where they're very thin. I did not like the Outdoor Voices dress. I've talked about this before, but I did not like it. I felt like for the price, it was just so not worth it. So I've been trying to find a lot of dupes and I love my Amazon one. This one does not have a built-in bra in it. So right off the bat, if you want something that has a lot of support, this one does not have the cup pads. I think it has, oh, there's no like shelf, but there is an extra lining in it because it connects to the shorts all the way through. The shorts do have pockets. This is the same spandex material as the tennis skirt that I tried on. So I'm glad to see that. It's a little bit thinner than the running shorts that I'm wearing. Straps are nice and thin. They cross in the back and then there's kind of like this low back, which is super cute. This also has two seams down the front. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better when I have it on. So let's go try it on. I'm surprised to say that I really love this one. I was a little bit nervous at first that it was gonna turn out a lot like the other ones. I've found that I've had to size up in most exercise dresses because they've just been super tight around my butt and everything, but this one is true to size. I'm wearing a medium and it actually fits really well. And I feel like you could easily dress this up or dress it down. It just makes you feel super put together and you just throw on one thing, which I love about exercise dresses. I am obsessed with the back. This is so cute. I love the low back. I still think I love the Amazon one a little bit more, but I also really like the material on this one and how lightweight it is. So I don't know, it's really a toss up between the Amazon and this one now because I really love the fabric on this one. Literally a unitard underneath. It feels very comfortable. The only thing about this dress is the material kind of gathers kind of funny. I don't know if you can see like the weird wrinkles in the front. It gathers a little bit funny in the front, but I really like the seams down the front. I feel like that makes it look super flattering. Having this spandex underneath, I feel like it's actually gonna stay in place. It's about a two inch inseam probably, and the dress hits just below my butt. But again, I have a really long torso, so that kind of also factors in to the way that this dress fits me. I think that this is super comfy and it's such a good way to throw something on and feel really put together. You throw on some gold hoops and you can wear this with sneakers, sandals, go on a quick walk in it, go to the grocery store. I definitely wouldn't be like working out in this. It's definitely not supportive enough for that. Even for like just a casual night out because you could like dress it up with some cute sandals. It's not too bad. I feel like it would be a very good purchase for like all around doing a lot of different things. I thought I would throw in a swimsuit in this haul because Erie is so well known for their swimwear and I've actually never tried it before. They always have sales going on for their swimwear also. I think when I bought this, it was 30% off the swimwear and then usually they'll do deals where you get free shipping and returns if you order swimwear. I got this really cute yellow bikini. I feel like a lot of triangle bikinis don't have cup pads in them. Them, but this one does so I love that this is size medium it has this cute little flower print texture on it 
um, so I thought that would be adorable. And then I got the matching bottoms to go with it. It looks like they are gonna sit up super high on your hips, which make your legs look super long. I love that that's the new trend now, but I don't know if I'm gonna love how cheeky they are. So I love the bright yellow color, especially for when I'm tan, and I'm gonna give it a try. Another super cute airy find. I'm not gonna show you guys the back because it is pretty cheeky but not like the cheekiest, like it's not like a full on thong, which I am glad about, but I love that this waist goes super high. It stays in place without like really cutting into me. So that's really good. The top feels nice and supportive. Typical triangle bikini top, it just ties at the back and around the neck here. I feel like this is very flattering. I love the high leg. And I love the yellow color. It also comes in an orange and one other color, which I can't remember, but I feel like this is cute. I love the cute little texture on it. It feels very high quality and super thick. I would be anxious to try some more of their swimsuits because this is super cute. Actually some really good pieces in this haul and I would highly recommend so many of them. Mostly everything worked out and caught me by surprise. I highly recommend looking on Aerie's website. They're always doing sales. I got a really good sale on all of this stuff. I will link all of these items down below, of course, as usual. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss another video. I'm gonna start posting hopefully two times a week now, doing lots of active wear hauls this summer. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think and I will see you all in my next video.